Hello, fourth grade. Today we're going to talk about clocks, and I just wanted to give you a quick tour of my house and some of my favorite analog clocks. So what do you know about an analog clock? Well, hopefully you know that uh, the numbers 1 through 12 are placed on the clock in a clockwise circular manner. Each one of these numbers represents five minutes. And if you remember back to when we worked with angles, we talked about clocks. Every, um, the second hand is moving so that uh, there are, uh, it hits every one of these little spaces all the way around the clock. And if there are five spaces within each number and there are 12 numbers, 12 times 5 is 60. That means there are 60 seconds in one minute. So as this second hand is moving around um, and it completes a full circle, the minute hand is going to advance. So let's watch. So right now the second hand is approaching the 8. When it gets to the 12, this minute hand is going to move over one space. So right now, it is 9.04 because the minute hand is on the fourth minute. But as it, this second hand gets to the 12, the minute hand, oh, it's already started moving. It started moving, and now it's going to get to uh, the 1. Slowly, it should be getting there. It's on its way. I don't know why it's not there yet, but there you can see it. It's just a matter of the mechanism, how quickly it moves. So now we're at 9.05, and we're at 9.05 and 20 seconds right now because there are five seconds within each number, and so five times four is 20. Now we're at 9.05 and 30 seconds. We are 9.05 and 35 seconds. So 60 seconds gives us a minute and 60 minutes gives us an hour. So let's look at page 501 together and we'll just put on paper what we were just talking about with the clock. So uh, let's look at this row of clocks and you can see the first one we the clock is at three o'clock and after one second, we would now say it's three o'clock and one second. And so we've added another semicolon, but now with seconds. So this three is the hour, the zero zero is the minutes, and now this zero one are the seconds. So uh, we know that one minute is 60 seconds and one hour is 60 uh, minutes. So let's go down to the example here. There are 60 minutes in one hour, and there are 60 seconds in one minute. So, so if we were to compare the size of an hour to the size of a second, 60 minutes times 60 seconds would give us 300, 3,600 seconds. That means in one hour, there are 3,600 seconds. That means an hour is 3,660 times as long as one second. All right, on the next page, the question says that Larissa spent two hours on her science project. Cliff spent 200 minutes on his science project. Who spent more time? So we want to compare two hours to 200 minutes. And one way we might do this is to make a table. And so in our table, we have a column for hours and a column for minutes. So we know that one hour is 60 minutes. So to find out how many minutes go into two hours, or part of two hours, we would double that quantity, right? So if one hour is 60 minutes, two hours would be twice that, which would be 120 minutes. And three hours would be three times that, which would be 180 minutes. So now, because we can compare minutes to minutes, it's gonna make more sense. So two hours is 180 minutes, compared to Cliff who spent 200 minutes, and clearly 180 is less than 200. So then if we wanted to compare two hours and 200 minutes, we would say that two hours is less than 200 minutes. And so who spent more time? So Cliff, not much room to write those names in there, spent more time than Larissa on the science project. 
Okay, for this next problem, you need some colored pencils. So pause the video and grab some. All right, so it says we're gonna compare the length of a week to the length of a day. And so the number line here shows the relationship between days and weeks. And so if you look, the top is weeks. We go from zero to one and days go from zero to seven. And that's because there are seven days in one week. So use a color pencil to shade one week on the number line. So I couldn't find my color pencils. I'm using a Sharpie. Um, so I want to shade one week. So one week would go from here to here. So I could color that in. Okay. Now it says use a different color pencil. So I'm going to switch to a different color. And... Um, shade one day. Well, one day is on the bottom and it goes from here to here. So now you can compare one week to one day. Well, how much longer is one day, one week than one day? Well, there are seven days in one week. You can say that one week is seven times as long as one day. Okay, keep your colored pencils out. Work on page 503 and check your answers with the attached key and then the same thing with the practice page. Good luck.